Ciao. Hello, my Libra friends, it's Guy and Halo, and this is going to be your reading for the rest of August for whatever comes up. This is a snapshot of general energy. Let's see what we get for my Libra friends. Libra friends. We have the Four of Fire, Four of Wands here, and we have contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. Woo! And we have extra things coming out. I'm not going to keep them, but I'll read them. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player, but you're expecting the worst in the situation. Self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. So we're dealing with soulmate energy here. We have the six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children or romanticizing the past. All right. Why can't I see that deck again? There it is. All right, I got this. Sorry about that. <laughs> so is there something you're not seeing? You're looking for, looking for, but you just can't find it. Maybe it's a lost item. Maybe in most days like me, it's part of your mind that's gone wandering off on vacation without you. <laughs> I got some of my cards upside down here. And just so you know, I don't read cards in reverse. So yeah, if they come upside down, they'll be flipped. Okay. All right. So what do we have here? Oh, we get three cards. We have the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and someone coming on a beautiful white horse to offer a cup of emotion. Now, this could be somebody who wants to join with somebody and get married. My Libra friends, Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be Aries Leo Sagittarius, but definitely is a soulmate, it seems, or you have memories regarding your children or history and past. Issues regarding, or I'm sorry, issues regarding children romanticizing the past. But this is a content, peace, and abundance, a happy home life. So we got, you're of two minds. Perhaps you're stepping into a new phase with this whole home life thing, or have stepped into it, and it takes you back to remembering how things used to be. We have the magician wanting to create magic with this person, or this person wants to create magic with you. We have justice. There's your guys' energy. Someone coming to you, or that's you popping out there, showing love. Big old cup of love popping on your white steed, huh? Someone might actually have a white horse, just saying. First time I ever thought about that. But you're feeling defensive, standing up for your beliefs and all that you've created. Now, I'm not talking about your house and your valuables. I'm talking about if you're going to come at me and you want to give me love, you better make sure it's fair and just on both sides of the fence or I am not interested. Nope. And that's fair. That's good. That's fair and that's just. We have Queen of Wands energy. Very passionate about the things you believe. Could be standing up to the Queen of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or standing in their stead. In other words, standing up for them. We have victory coming. Whatever this is about here. We have victory here, my friends. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters, it looks like there's smoother sailing ahead. This happy home life, after all. Celebration, or going out and having more fun with your friends. Maybe enjoying some family times. Just relaxing and having a good old relaxing time. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You're coming in to cut out the BS in some sort of situation. However, you don't do it unless it's fair to do so. Gosh, you guys, your energy is all over this reading, hey? Could be dealing with, in some way, shape, or form, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This could be a family member or someone that you love. Someone that something's happened with, perhaps you'd like to celebrate. There's going to be great strength needed here, I think, to speak a truth that you have to speak. I don't have a sword of truth here yet. Perhaps this uh, Queen of Wands or this uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn is all about your past person you were with. Oh, there's information coming to you or information you're sending out about your ideas of the past or how you feel about it. And we have soulmate energy here, my friends. Virgo Taurus Capricorn again. 
We have king and a queen, two people that vibrate on the same frequency. You could be dealing with another person or couple from the past who are both Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn as well. We have a very passionate offer. Messages coming in very quickly and challengingly, I might add. Perhaps someone's coming in to offer you a very passionate offer about the new home that they would like to set up and the abundance they would like to see with you and the happy family they would like to create. But there is a temporary pause in this action when you go into to a hangman mode here and gain clarity on what to do from this point forward. All up in your head about it. Not sure what to do with these new offers being given to you. There is a truth about to be spoken that's going to be challenging for someone to hear. And it has to do with, you know what? I've been holding on for a long time. I'm going to take a leap of faith to let and go and find in something new. I'm going to fill my own cup. I'm going to love my own cup. I'm going to put joy in there and surrender i was just gonna say surrender everything i've been dealing with put down the burdens and bring beauty to my life because you know what i'm about done with all of this this uh information this thinking about the past and thinking about all this other stuff i just want a happy rewarding family life i want contentment i want peace and i want abundance you are protected from all types of harm the worst is now behind you i ask you to relax and feel safe Look at that. The divine's got you all in a protective little bubble. A bubble of protected. You've done the lessons. You've spent the time. You've learned. You've figured out how to have balance. There's a new portal opening for you guys that is going to bring in. It's like a new. It's like a paradigm shift is what I'm getting. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Action. Wands are about action. Take an action, Jackson. All right. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, 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 this one. Okay. Let's get some messages from the wisdom, the hidden oracle, hidden, uh, what is it? Wisdom from the Hidden Realms oracle deck. The first one out we have is the Arrow Master hitting the mark. Intention. Detachment. Yeah, someone wants to detach. And I think you've hit the mark with your intentions on doing so. Yep, someone's just saying, I'm putting down the burdens where this thing is, this offers concerns, whatever this is. I just am not interested in the burdens that come along with your offer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my, things are stirred up. Oh yes, and changes upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but... Know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear. Rather, in spite of it, or even because of it, steps into the unknown now. Let go of the branch you are clinging to and let spirit take the wheel and help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said, take one step towards the gods and they will take ten towards you. We are all doing destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right. Don't be afraid to dance. <laughs> That's cute. So you guys must enjoy what's going on right now. The divine wants you to enjoy it, wants you to understand that yes, change is afoot, but this is a good thing. This is a good thing. And if you've made the decision to be the change maker in this situation, well done. That's a very good thing. Stepping in, cutting out the BS. I want to celebrate. It's going to take strength to do that. Oh, yeah, that's challenging messages coming to people about how they're treating you, about what they're offering you, and that you feel you deserve better. you got your own cup of love here, your own cup that divine's handing straight to you, and you're like, I'm going to fill that cup. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's read this one. Card number 10. New portal energy, my friends. 11, 11. Two join together. The divine and you join together to create this wonderful, beautiful new cup you're going to have going on. I'm so excited to hear about what's going on for you guys. Card number 10, huh? 
Card number 10. You guys really feel like you're in the in-between. I was going to do a series about being in-between uh, events in your life. Maybe I'll still do that. We'll see. It's come up for a reason. The Arrow Master appears to help you target your intentions and teaches you how to shoot straight for the stars. The message is to be deliberate about focusing your dreams and desires with intention and about aligning your intentions with spirit. Then let them fly on the wind, directed by the divine, until they reach your goal. The only way to hit the target is to allow the arrow of your intention to fly unencumbered by your eagerness to see it travel exactly the way you want it to go. You may think it needs to veer a certain way to reach your goal, but in the invisible realms, human power cannot make this happen. The divine has its own idea of how the arrow flies and upon the wind and uh, I'm sorry, and upon what wind it's carried. Nonetheless, if you don't shoot, you'll never score. This is a fortunate message as long as you remember the law of detachment. If you do, then be assured that you're right on point. As a challenger, the arrow master appears to let you know that if you continue on your present course, you could be shooting yourself in the foot. You're being challenged now to take a look at the motives behind why you want to reach your goal at all. Is this a path of true destiny or the lure of fantasy and ego desires? Are you setting your intentions to win something away from another or to get what you want, whether or not it's good for all? Remember also that life is not competition. The concept of competition is flawed and encourages a perception of lack. Your time will come. Be very clear that you're pointing in the right direction and don't chase your arrow. If your intention is to find an easier, softer way or a shortcut to your goal, it's time to give that up since it won't work in the long run. Don't be seduced by quick get it now ideas. This is a time to ask for the highest intentions to replace the old ones. Sometimes a new set of arrows and another target altogether is needed then you can never miss your mark. And that's what this is about right here. That higher target, the target of filling your own heart, your own mind, your own needs. Straight with everything you desire it to be. I hope you guys have a great rest of your August. I'll be talking to you again soon. Blessings.